I'm a physician assistant. I'm in school here in Florida. I adopted Chaka uh, midway through PA school. It gets lonely, you know, when you are with your classmates. So I adopted Chaka. <laughs> I had her for about two weeks prior to naming her and I would just try different names. She wouldn't really respond. I did the sound one day. <laughs> It was like, Ma! like she was like, that's me. So I'm like, okay, how can I make into a name? Chaka was the decision. She's been there in every Zoom class we've had, every meeting, she's been on my lap. She's just my best friend. I can't imagine life without her. I really can't. She tends to love to eat. She loves her food, and so I actually put her on a diet recently. Since putting her on a diet, she's found a love for plastic bags. She's resorted to eating her toys. She ended up eating a string, eating one of the, her yarn balls, which is a linear material. I didn't realize this. I, I was studying or something. You know, I turned my back, and she's she was fine. A week later, she stopped eating. She stopped talking to me. She stopped sitting on my lap. I walked into another room, she didn't follow me. And so I knew something was off and she's got this look in her eyes. I can just tell, like this look in her eye was different. It's an owner and a pet thing. When you spend so much time with an animal and they don't look at you the same way, it's like this gut feeling something is seriously wrong. Immediately, you know, I took her to the vet. I'm like, this isn't right. You know, she's so talkative. She's always meowing. She's always happy and she just stopped. Thank the Lord for the vets. I think I'm so thankful for the vets. What they found was a piece of yarn from her little yarn cat ball. She had tried to swallow it. It had tied around her tongue in the process of swallowing it. And then they saw this spot of inflammation right past her stomach. And they were like, okay. This is grounds to actually perform the surgery. Now we now we have a target. They were able to get her into surgery right that day. They got out, they were able to cut the string after intubating her in surgery. Since then, you know, she had the plastic cone. She's on like six different medications, researched, you know, com comfortable cones for cats. And so I got her her little sunflower cone. And since getting her sunflower cone, she's been doing a lot better. So every day is just a recovery process. Now I'm just kind of like nursing her from home, but she's definitely fighting. I just graduated, just passed my boards. I'm in the process of starting a job. When this happened, it was so sudden. The total turned out to be upward of $4,000. I took credit cards out in order to pay for it, but I had no money left. I sold all of my furniture. I, Like if you see my apartment right now, I've sold everything. Um, the only thing I have left is a bed. It's just a matter of now, how can I catch up? That was really why I started the GoFundMe and, and you know, my friends and family have been so supportive. Please help my Chaka. I, I don't know what I would do without her. She's gotten me through the hardest part of my life. I'm so thankful. I, I know like Chaka's thankful too. She's, I can tell she's just, she won't leave my side even more than before. Cats are just such unique, amazing creatures and they have a bad rep sometimes. Thinks, people think cats are just mean and they just like growl and hiss, but they're, they have personalities more than you know. 